How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. Check out my battery percentage, LOL. And as many of you know, Apple released iOS 5 yesterday. Now it brings a myriad of new features and also a lot of bug fixes. But one thing that has always been present in iOS 5 since beta 1 and has always been incredibly irritating to me is newsstand. Now, Newsstand in concept is a great application, and if you fit the market this app is designed for, it's brilliant. It allows you to take all of your news iPhone apps and place them in a centralized location. Not only that, but they also update automatically. So for example, if I had a daily subscription to the New York Times, I used to have to open the app and download that every day. No longer. Every time there's a new issue, Newsstand will automatically download it and place a little bubble up in the corner so that you know about it. Now again, if you use iPhone apps for news in this purpose, Newsstand is brilliant and it's a great addition to the iOS suite. But if you don't consume news like this, or at least not through iOS apps, it can be quite irritating because as you've probably discovered, you cannot drag Newsstand into a folder, which can become quite annoying. So if you have a hyper-organized springboard like myself, it can be annoying that there's an icon there that's doing absolutely nothing. Now there is a jailbreak utility that allows you to put Newsstand into an iOS folder and it works great, but for a lot of people that are too nervous to jailbreak, feel that iOS serves their needs, or everything else, that's fine. I think vanilla iOS is great. There's also a workaround to get Newsstand into a folder without having to jailbreak. It does take a couple things and it actually will probably be addressed as a bug in a future iOS update because it's something that doesn't really work that well. Now this tip was originally discovered by one of Gizmodo's readers so props go out to him for discovering it. I take no credit for that. However the way Gizmodo explained it was somewhat confusing and so I'm trying to rehash that information in a little bit more of a comprehensible way. Now what you need is newsstand on the springboard as well as two icons you'd like to create a folder with. Now what you're going to need to do is drag one of these two icons on top of the other. Now if you wait until that blip happens, you're going to have a problem and this will not work. Watch the sequence, I'm going to perform this a couple times, watch the sequence on how I do this because it's a bit weird. I'm going to drag one of the icons directly on top of each other and once that little radar bubble appears, this one right here. I'm going to immediately go and click newsstand and hold it. Now, if that doesn't make sense, hold on, just watch. Okay, do you see what I did there? There's a couple things that you need to note, and if this doesn't work the first time, it's not that your iPhone will not work. It, what, it does work on every device, even iPad running iOS 5. It just needs to be a little bit um, interestingly done. So, if you don't get it the first time, don't worry, keep trying, you will get it. What you need to do, hold the icon, drag it on top of the other one. Right when that bubble appears, let go and hurry and hold newsstand. You don't need to drag newsstand into the folder, don't worry about it, and actually if you try to drag newsstand into the folder, it's going to be a lot more difficult to make this work. So what I recommend is drag one on top of each other and hurry and hold newsstand. Don't worry about dragging it, just hold it. And then once this is in a folder, let go of newsstand and it will pop itself into this folder. Now it doesn't appear in the folder on the springboard at all, and actually if you try to launch Newsstand, it will restart your springboard. Your iPhone crashes. So as you can see, this is certainly not a very good way of doing things if you want to use Newsstand. But if it's an icon that's in your way, you never use it, you never will, it's a great method of getting it out of the way. Again, to use Newsstand, simply drag it outside of the folder, and then you'll be able to open it as you normally should. So no, this is not a very well done method of getting things out of the way, but if you do need to get Newsstand out of the way, if it is bothering you, and if you have no intentions of using it, this may be a great method to get it out of your life. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.